We begin with the unending tales of the movie-like kind of tendering that went on at Kemsa at the height of COVID-19. The Public Investments Committee of the National Assembly was told today how top bosses at the Medical Supplies Authority called some business people asking them to go for the lucrative tenders. But as Elphus Lagarde reports, all this was done at the expense of companies that followed due process some of which have never been paid to date. When they appeared before the Public Investments Committee, the owners of Brima Grains Limited, Hassan Osman and Abdul Kafar Ali, who also doubled as the managers of the cereals company, failed to convince the committee on how they got awarded a tender worth more than 167 million shillings without prior experience in medical supplies. If you tell us that you just had on public domain that Kemsa is buying these items, Kemsa ideally, if they wanted it to be on public domain, they'll advertise, please, anyone who can be able to supply these items, please do come forward. Kemsa never uh, uh, did. There was even the guideline specification, it was in WhatsApp and everywhere, that uh, the minister has shared the specification how the kind of uh, specification on on the mask, the kind of mask they want, it is there. That is that, that uh, guideline the government, the Minister of Health has issued. Bremer registered on 31st January 2019, hard pressed to reveal the turnover for 2019. The committee found out that Bremer had already been paid in full, yet Kemsa and the cereals company did not negotiate prices for 1 million three ply masks, 500,000 N95 masks, and 200 pieces of PPEs. A company which is specialized in cereals, in cereal dealers in cereals produce, is getting such kind of a tender. And yet we have companies which they have expertise, which they are professional in that issue of medical supplies. Bennett Ventures was also awarded a tender worth 180 million shillings. The company director told the committee that she had been pre-qualified by Kemsa way back in 2019 and upon learning about the tenders through a customer wrote an intent letter on 15th April 2020. Two weeks later on the 29th April, Kemsa issued Bennett with a commitment letter to supply 40,000 masks. Abdul Swamad Nasir, the chairman of the Public Investments Committee, questioned Bennett and Bremer on how they obtained the multi-million tenders and how they received full payments under two months if they didn't have the influence of powerful individuals behind them. The directors of the two companies denied getting help to win the tenders. Ironically, Nairobi Enterprises Limited, a local manufacturer of medical equipment, was approached by Kemsa for PPEs worth around 90 million and have only been paid 8 million shillings. The managing director, Rajan Danani, lamented that despite supplying Kemsa with masks at only 2,080 shillings, as others sold at 4,500 shillings, Kemsa has since frozen their bulk payment while paying off other companies in full. Even I baffled. I have really complained about this. I even, I, I, I even went to see the CEO recently. I even complained to him as well. And I said, you, are, you know, I'm being held at ransom for no reason. The Public Investments Committee has since established that Kemsa awarded bloated tenders to dozens of companies while bypassing established companies that were willing to sell them PPEs at considerably cheaper prices. PIC is now narrowing down its investigation as it seeks to unravel the bizarre tendering at Kemsa. Elfas Lagat, Citizen TV, Nairobi.